Hello, I'm Cecile Richards, President of Planned Parenthood Federation of America. I want to be really clear. The allegation that Planned Parenthood profits in any way from tissue donation is not true. What would you expect for intact um, tissue? What, what sort of compensation? What sort of... Well, why don't you start by telling me what you used to pay? We'll be exhibiting at the medical director's council oh, meeting oh, good, good, um, in good. a couple of weeks, so I don't know if you'll be attending. I'm now the president of that organization. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> So we had just started the conversation, and Susan was explaining they're a startup that they have been about a year in business. They're a for-profit company that's connecting researchers with people willing to donate tissue. Our volume, thank you for giving it to me, is 800 mm -hmm. a year with 60 in the second trimester. And we're just starting to talk about how the process worked with Novogenics down in um, Los Angeles when I was there. Okay. To back up a little bit, PPFA, our parent body, is on board with tissue donation, but we have to ask for a waiver to do it, and we have to lay out for them what our program is going to be like. And the mechanics of it was that uh, Heather, a uh, homogenics person, would come to the site and our staff would sign the patients up and get consent and then Heather would look at the tissue and take what she, she mm -hmm. required. So it was logistically very easy for us. We didn't have to do anything. So it was compensation for this. And we didn't have to do anything. So it was compensation for this. And the, there was a discussion as I was leaving. They, they had been paying by the case and there was some discussion about doing it in a different way, or I don't know what you're used to doing, how are you used to doing compensation. The patients don't get anything, of course. Okay, so I'd like, what, what, would, uh, what would you expect for intact um, tissue? What, what sort of compensation, what sort of... Well, why don't you start by telling me what you're used to paying. Okay. I don't think so. I, I'd like to. I would like to know what would make you happy. What would work for you? Well, you know, in negotiations, the person who throws out the figure first is at a loss, right? So. <laughs> you, no, I. I don't look at it that way. I know you want to play that game. I get I it. Like but I no, no, no. I want low ball because I'm used to low things from. You know what? Um, uh, if you lowball, I'll, I'll act pleasantly surprised, and you'll know it's a lowball. Okay. What I want to know is uh, what would what would work for you. Don't lowball it. Okay. Tell me what you really. Oh, that's way too low, I, I, and that's I, really that's way too low. I don't. I, I want to keep you happy. I've, I've been up places that did fifty too, but see, we don't. We're not in it for the money. So why don't you start by telling me what you used to pay? Oh, no, no. no, I want global you $75 really a specimen. And we don't want to be in the position of being accused of selling tissue and stuff like that. On the other hand, there are costs associated with the use of our exactly. space and all that kind of stuff. So what yes. were you thinking about? Right. So, way higher than that. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd like to start at around 100 Okay. Now, this is for tissue that you actually take, not just the tissue that person volunteer that you can't find anything. Right? Exactly. Now this is for tissue that you actually take, not just the tissue that person volunteer that you can't find anything. Right? Exactly. Right. What what is what we can use, what is intact. So that's why I'm saying no, don't lowball. I, I want you to be well, happy it's complicated and complicated by the fact that our volume is so low too. I mean hey, are you looking at eight and nine week specimens or only second trimester specimens? You know, ten to ten to twelve week. You know, end of the first trimester. If that's if those are pretty intact specimens, then then that's something we can work with. So um, that's an, yeah, and that's, that's an interesting concept. Let me explain to you a little bit of a problem, which may not be a big problem. Mm -hmm. If our usual technique is suction mm -hmm. at ten to twelve weeks, yeah. and we switch to using an iPads or something with less suction or to increase the odds that will come out as an intact specimen, then we're kind of violating the protocol that says 
to the patient, we're not doing anything different in our care of you. And to mm. me, that's a kind of a specious little argument, and I wouldn't object to asking Ian, who's our surgeon who does the cases, to use an eye pass at that gestational age in order to increase the odds that he was going to get an intact specimen. But I do need to throw it out there as a concern because the patient is signing something and we're signing something saying we're not changing anything in the way we're managing you just because you agreed to give tissue. Mm. I've mm. heard of that before. Right, mm. yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's definitely it's, a... It's touchy. It's, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. How do you how do you feel about that if well I think you know they're both totally appropriate techniques there's mm -hmm, no mm -hmm. pain involved mm -hmm. I don't think the patients would care one iota mm -hmm. so uh, I'm not making a fuss about that okay okay now you have my you have my email address right email, yeah, right. Yeah. write me a three or four paragraph proposal which I will then take to Laurel and others in our organization to see if we want to pursue this. Um, and then if we want to pursue this mutually, I'll mention this to Ian in terms of how he feels about using a less crunchy technique to get more whole specimens. And then um, if we agree to move forward, the next steps I need to apply to PPFA for a waiver to permit us to do this. We have to have a contract. Do you have a contract already? We, we have a, yeah, we're, what we've used in the past is a materials transfer agreement. Um, and that's obviously oh, open cool. to discussion. So <laughs> that's a prototype. It needs to say exactly what your staff is going to do, exactly what your expectations are, exactly what your compensation is. And are we agreed that $100 would keep you happy? Well, let me agree to find out from other affiliates yes. in California what they're getting. And mm -hmm. they're getting substantially more than we can discuss it with. Yes. But again, yeah. the money is not the important thing. For no, it. no. But it, has no. To be big that but it, but it is something to talk about. I mean, it's yeah. the one of the first things that you brought up, right? So, it no. Has to be big enough that this but it, but it is something to talk about. I mean, it's yeah. the one of the first things that you brought up, right? So. Now, here's but, another thought: is you know, we can talk about specimen as per specimen per case, or per procured tissue sample, mm -hmm. which would be so that if we're able to get a liver thymus pair, you know, maybe that is seventy-five dollars per specimen, and so that's for you know for liver thymus pair, and that's one hundred and fifty, versus if we can get liver thymus. Okay. Brain hemisphere and all that, and then you know, and then so that that protects us so that we're not paying for what we can't use. <laughs> um, and uh, I mean, it also I think it also okay. maybe illustrates things. It's for been years since I talked about compensation, so let me just uh -huh. figure out what others are getting. And if this is in the ballpark, and that's fine. If it's mm -hmm. low, still low, then we can talk about it. I want a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> I said I want a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs>